Okay, looks about right. Hello, everybody. This is Space Cat. I'm going to try to do podcasts part two with better editing. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, let's make this one a bit more fun. So first, I'm going to show you a recent TV interview with Mila Kunis and what she had to say about Cats and Cubes. Log in, what I do, and all my girlfriends are on it. And so, you know, it's, it's a very fun... For those of you unfamiliar with Mila, she's the voice of Meg in Family Guy, and here's a clip of her singing. Hit it! Yeah, Mila Kunis can speak Russian, it's pretty cool. So here's a secret conversation between me and her, where she's asked me a question to play on the channel, asking, why don't I watch any of the big channels? The big cubing channels? Why do I watch all small channels? One of the main reasons is because I just like to support the smaller channels, especially being one myself, and also because of this reason, which you'll see here. Pretty sure she's got a crush on me. Okay, so in the first podcast, podcast, I spoke about making videos and then sleeping on them and going back to a second edit before posting them to avoid mistakes. But uh, I didn't do that. And here's something I want to correct from my last video. So I'm referring to my comment on the color scheme of these cubes from the uh, first ads for the Rubik's Cube because a modern cube has white opposite yellow but all my 80s cubes have blue opposite white and i noticed on this one that uh there's a blue and a white edge and a yellow and white edge and i thought that green and white must have been opposite each other but as you can see here green's next to white so i challenge you to go back to the ad um from the first video and see if you can work out what the actual base is because it's got me fooled I don't know. Comment if you work it out. Okay, so I'd also like to rectify the two mistakes that I made in my GAN video. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. It's had 1700 views and I said two things wrong. First, I said this. Uh, the SM, the first magnetic GAN cube. Brr, wrong. The UM was the first magnetic GAN cube. It's just another example of where I really need to start following my own advice and sleeping on my videos and double checking the edit. And here's another mistake I made during this video. Uh, I was unpacking the box you get in the skew pack and said this. The guide I'm tensioning and it would be the CFOP thing, I think. I'll have a look at them properly later, but... <laughs> what a dumb bum. Why would a scoop have a CFOP instruction booklet? But I did... So you've made it this far through the video. Thank you for a starter. But this was uh, the my uh, irregular cube collection part four video, which wasn't complete. But here's the footage from what I had done just to finish everything off. And since these cubes are sort of a little bit old now, even though I bought them when they first come out, um, I've decided to do some shout outs for some people. I, I've never liked doing shout outs because I always miss people that really deserve to to be shouted out and I apologize if you're not mentioned here but here's some thank yous and shout outs to people twisty puzzle gosh I can only find the footage for other uh, souls for the DNA cube and the macaron cube I don't know what I've done with the carbon fiber cube solve and the um what's that other thing called the twisty thingy um but okay, first shout out goes to LL Cuba. He's great. Keeps pumping out videos for a long time. Has been really supportive for a long time. 
Be creative with Ching Wei, a beautiful artistic channel, mathematical genius. Love her channel. Hey, Ching Wei. The Farm in Cuba, another great channel and another good supporter. Thanks, man. Ready, skeddy, go. These DNA cubes feel so nice. The concave bit makes it sort of easy to grip as well. These are fairly cheap too. I kind of recommend them because they just feel cool. And there we go. That's not too bad for me, I guess. But what, 32? Wood, wood. Okay, a few more shout outs. And here's one to Cubix. He's had a really successful challenge. He's another one who started all around the same time. This is what I like to call the family. A shout out to Connor Sucks at Cubing. He doesn't suck, his channel's awesome. And also a shout out to EHS Cubes, part of the family, hey man, shout out to Be Lovely, ASMR, she's always been so nice to Space Cat, alright, here we go, Macaroon Solve, these colours are so nice, this cube looks edible when you're using it, you can lick your cube, just don't lick my cube, I've got really bad lighting on this at the moment, the colours are actually, they are light, but they're much nicer in real life. So this is the final solve and the final bit of spare footage I have on my phone. So it will be probably quite a while until I post again. Uh, thank you to everybody that watched this, especially to this far. And I hope that you've all been well. And I'm trying to catch up on all the videos that you've posted since I've been away. I'm getting there slowly but surely. 35. Woot woot. Thanks for watching Cats and Kids.